Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all really well. A big warm welcome if you're new here and thank you so much for joining me. In this video I'm sharing eight things that stylish and well-dressed women never spend their money on or waste their money on and maybe you should consider not spending your money or wasting your money on either. I've selected these things which I think are important to help you so that you don't waste money and that you don't fall into any little sartorial traps. We learn by the time we get to our age, I think, that not everything that's stylish needs to be costly. In fact, you can look like a million dollars on a budget if you spend really carefully. So it's not about spending loads on things to make sure that you look stylish. So what is it that stylish women never spend their money on? So I'm kicking straight off with my first thing, which is number one, anything that causes physical pain. There was a reason why Cinderella kicked off that glass slipper in the fairy tale. It must have been horrendously uncomfortable and just imagine dancing all night in glass shoes. But it's not just Cinderella, of course. We women have suffered for our style over the years and I'm especially here thinking about shoes and high heels. But I don't know about you, but I've worn shoes that are too tight, too loose, that rub my heel until I can hardly hobble around. And it's not just shoes either. I've had painful experiences with jeans that are too tight in the past as well, around the waist, with bending over nearly cut me in two. I remember it well. Um, and even materials that itch and scratch can be a real problem. If you wear items that are uncomfortable or are painful, it will also probably show in your face and the way that you move. I know that it does with me. Or else you will abandon these things and leave them to languish in your wardrobe. So these are things that stylish women over 50 never spend their money on. Because buying something uncomfortable that will put you off wearing it is just like throwing money down the drain, to be honest, however gorgeous that item might be. So instead, stylish women fill their closets with items that combine comfort with style and with things that make them look good and feel good to wear. Now another thing that stylish women never spend their money on is number two, something that you'll only wear once. They don't spend money on something that will only see the light of day or night once. It's usually a lot to invest when you buy for a special occasion and it takes up prime real estate space in your wardrobe too. Now obviously from time to time we need to buy for special occasions, as wedding guests maybe or for black tie events, but do try to get something that you can repurpose a bit and wear again in a different way. See, back in the day, I remember, we all had clothes that were for best, didn't we, for church or for a party. But I think it's a real shame to keep these beautiful pieces hidden because they're usually so carefully chosen to make us look fabulous that it would be good to bring them out a little bit more often and look fabulous more often as well. So something like a long dress could be worn again in a more informal way, such as with perhaps wedge heels, wedge sandals rather, or sneakers even, or perhaps with a leather jacket or a crop denim jacket. So if it's a suit that you've bought for a special occasion, maybe think of ways to divide up the pieces and wear them separately with other items to create even more outfits. And if you really wanted to save money, maybe think about renting a special dress or outfit for a really big occasion. It's a lot more cost effective if you really can't wear the item again. The third item that stylish women don't spend money on is designer dupes and fakes. Now there's a bit of a difference between a dupe and a fake, which I'm sure you know. Obviously a fake is an outright copy and a an counterfeit, whereas a dupe is an item that looks a bit like another brand, but doesn't try to pretend that it actually is that other brand. So I do understand the pull of a dupe, but in my view, stylish women do not buy either fakes or dupes, and especially not fakes. I've seen women in the street wearing things like, you know, rough old faded leggings, no makeup, baggy old clothes, and a designer bag, which it so obviously isn't, <laughs> and it isn't cool. Basically, it'll be obvious that we're carrying a dupe or a fake designer bag or item if the rest of the outfit doesn't come up to the same standard. Truly stylish women are often much more in line with the quiet luxury aesthetic. Nothing really shouts designer and nothing really shouts at all. More of that later. Now I did create a couple of videos about the quiet luxury aesthetic if you're interested in that, which I will link below for you. Okay, moving on to the next thing that stylish women don't buy, which is number four, items just because they're on sale. I know a great sale is a wonderful thing, isn't it? And so exciting, you don't know what you might pick up. 
And therein lies the problem. Because if you don't have a plan and you don't know what you're looking for, if you just go into a sale or an online sale looking for inspiration, it might be that you'll waste money on something that doesn't really fit into your existing wardrobe or even look that great on you or you even need. So stylish women never buy things just because they're on sale. Generally, they're much more strategic in their approach to sales. They make sure that they've already earmarked pieces that they want in their wardrobes to see if they come up in the sale, or they might browse through sales to see what would really add value to them. Now I'm thinking of really big sales in particular here, like you know the Nordstrom anniversary sale, or in the UK, the Harrods sales too, especially the designer sales absolutely to die for. I'll include a link below to this if you'd like to browse and drool if you're anything like me. Okay, on to my fifth thing that stylish women never spend money on and that's anything that's too trendy or edgy that doesn't work for them. Now, I'm not saying that stylish women dress boringly, absolutely far from it, but they don't go way out or wacky in their clothing choices. And that means that they don't follow trends to the letter either. They may adapt a trend to their needs if it really suits them or dip their toe into a trend, but they don't take it straight off the catwalk, lock, stock and barrel. They dress much more timelessly than that and they're kind of beyond these sort of trends. Now, another thing that's linked to this is that they don't spend money on wild colour combinations in outfits. So they tend not to wear jarring colour combos, like perhaps neons with neons and other things that don't go so well like yellow and green in certain shades, red and purple. These kind of combinations are just a bit too garish and harsh together for a stylish woman to wear together. What they do spend money on is pieces that work for them individually for their figure, their body shape, their colouring, their height. And this is a key thing actually. You'll find it way easier to be naturally stylish and to look fabulous in clothes if you know what flatters your body shape and go with that. So just before I get on to the next thing, uh, ladies, I just wanted to share with you something. If you recall in my last video or two, I've been sharing things that are little discoveries for me. And this is something that's linked with this. Some people would say that you shouldn't waste money on expensive lipsticks. Now, in my view, I totally disagree with this and I'd be really interested to know what you think actually, because I think that you can tell with the color, if it's a, an expensive color, if it's a quality color and with the texture as well. So this one, for example, is my little thing for today. Uh, this is Elizabeth Arden. And this particular color is one that I've lived and died with the last few months. It's called, what's it called? Can't see notably nude and you can see that I've used lots of it because it's nearly finished I would recommend this you must try this ladies it's the perfect kind of nude it's got a bit of pink bit of beige and you can either jazz it up with a bit of gloss over the top or you can put a line around it as I have here um, and I would say have a look at this because the finish of it is beautiful just a quick thing actually I don't know if you can hear it um, but there's a real roar going on outside the house here. Um, a lot of England is covered in the tremendous storms, howling gales, pouring rain, and in Scotland, lots and lots of snow. And I think it's a little present from my lovely friends in America that's come over. Huge storm. Anyway, I hope you can't hear it. So the next thing that stylish women do not spend their money on is number six, acrylic nails. I'm really sorry, but acrylic nails are a big no-no, and the longer and more pointy they are, the more of a bigger no-no they are, especially if they're a bright neon colour. <laughs> now, I do apologise, ladies, if you're sitting there and looking down at your acrylic nails and thinking, oh, Deirdre, please, I love them. I always say, wear exactly what makes you happy and confident and just continue doing it. But what I'm really talking about here are those long talon-like acrylic nails that look something like Dracula's wife would wear and that look a little bit like lethal weapons. Uh, they do tend to look cheap, which is not how a stylish woman presents herself. And actually, while we're on the subject of nails, I would also like to say that nail art, lots of nail art, uh, is not something that a stylish woman would spend money on either. Now, acrylic nails also, ladies, are harmful to your nails. They damage the nail beds, so do be careful. Now, what stylish women do spend their money on are charming elegant little nails a bit shorter often in nude or more subtle colors like pale pink which is always a flattering choice for older hands by the way or a french manicure which is the ultimate classic of course Ta da <laughs> 
another advantage of these types of nail colours is that they go with everything you're going to be wearing and the shorter length is more practical as well. Now other colours that stylish women do wear are red for occasions and perhaps a darker colour such as a deeper wine shade but either way they're never very long and these colours are best on a shorter nail as well. Okay, so for my next point about what stylish women never spend the money on, it's cheap fabrics. Not so much cheap fabrics, to be honest, but fabrics that look cheap. I created a whole video on how not to look cheap, actually, recently, and I will link that video below for you to have a look at. It's all about the look and feel of the fabric, really. And as I mentioned in my first point, stylish women don't buy or wear things that are uncomfortable. And this is the same with fabrics. Some artificial lace, for example, can get really itchy and scratchy. Also, generally, synthetic cheap fabrics like polyester don't tend to sit so well on our bodies. They don't fall as well or hang as well, and they can look stiff and starchy, or alternatively, just have no structure and just droop, which is not something a stylish woman would do. Stylish women tend to wear better quality fabrics, which wear better, last better, look better, but they don't necessarily cost more. You know, you can get budget friendly things that are really good materials. So for my last point, stylish women don't spend money on is number eight, shouty, noisy accessories or noisy, shouty accessories either. So by this, I mean, loud, cheap costume jewellery that you can often hear clanking around and coming, and also things like loud logos spread all over everything all over your body, or if you're travelling, all over your luggage too. Now, I know that luggage isn't really an accessory, but it kind of is. I think only the very few can get away with loud logo covered luggage, it's difficult to say, but it must be real as well, like Louis Vuitton luggage. I mean, Joan Collins, for one, who always looks spectacular, um, can get away from, with it, but not for most of us mortals, it's not so easy, mainly because these things have been so overused and where they were once the height of style, they've been done to death and now they tend to look a little bit cheap. So stylish women won't buy this. What they are way more likely to buy is just one statement piece, say for jewellery, say a necklace or earrings that are really stand out, and they will keep the rest of it fairly minimal to showcase the big piece. Or if you're thinking about luggage, just really good quality luggage. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I know it's controversial, love your thoughts and your comments on it. And if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and join our fabulous community. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week and looking forward to seeing you in a few days for short and long videos. So please do watch out for them. Lots of love to you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.